uh, the news. At this moment, a plane is carrying the remains of some great fallen heroes from America back from the Korean War. They're coming back to the United States. Mike Pence, our wonderful vice president, will be there to greet the families and the remains. And I want to thank Chairman Kim for keeping his word. We have many others coming, but I want to thank Chairman Kim in front of the media for fulfilling a promise that he made to me. Joining me now, former U.S. Navy Lieutenant Commander Greg Keeley and Peter Brooks, former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense. Commander, let me start with you. Um, I, 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 I think this is a big deal, um, you know, and, and it's, it you know, probably has some other undertones but with, with respect to the negotiation process, but this is something right. that we all should, I think we should make a big deal out of this. Charles, look, uh, I agree entirely. What, what we need to remember, however, is, you know, this is 55 uh, servicemen. We don't know who really, as, as, as Secretary Matter said, we don't know whose remains are in those boxes that, uh, that, uh, that came out of the peninsula sure. today. The, the key is, though, that if the Department of Defence can find familial DNA from any stream of those uh, families of, of the 8,000 servicemen that are missing, if those remains are indeed American servicemen, we can positively identify them to 98% um, um, certainty. And that's, that's good enough for the New York Medical Examiner's Office. So right. if those remains are American re MIAs, we can absolutely identify them. And I think that's a wonderful thing. You know, we have a commitment, right, Peter, to, to make sure everybody gets back home, uh, even if it's a few decades later. Yes, to bring them home, never, never forget. This is an important humanitarian gesture on the part of the North Koreans. There are many more uh, American servicemen missing, and we hope that North Korea will repatriate them as, as, soon, as, as soon as possible. A very, it's, this is good news, and hopefully we'll be able to identify yep. them, repatriate them, and return them to their loved ones. Uh, these are right. folks that have been gone for a very long time when you think about the Korean War ended in 1953. Let's talk about another uh, gesture or overture, if you will, of Russian President Vladimir Putin now saying, He's invited President Trump to Russia for another face-to-face -face meeting in Moscow, uh, a meeting the White House says that Trump is open to. Peter, uh, what are your thoughts on that? Well, look, dialogue is important, you know, but then there are conditions we may want to set as well. Uh, timing. You know, place, Washington, Moscow, a neutral place. You know, we met with the Soviets for many years. We met with Soviet leaders going back to 1943 who are, you know, adversaries, allies, and then adversaries uh, after World War II. Uh, so this is important considering the state of relations between the two sides. Right. But once again, you know, are you going to do it before <clears throat> elections here, after the elections? You know, what can you do to minimize Russian cyber meddling? And there's a lot of other important issues that you and I haven't spoken about yeah, previously. Great, great point. And real quick, Commander Keeley, is it important? If, when they do meet again, whether it's in Washington, D.C., or Moscow? Look, I think that is important, Charles. I think what's more important is that we understand that the intelligence community in this country has, has said unequivocally that Russia has interfered with our election process. And we're not alone. They've done it in Australia. They've done it in, uh, for goodness sake, Greece, which has been a long-time ally of, uh, of Russia. Uh, they just expelled some diplomats. So this is a, a constant um, Russian drumbeat. Right. And I think if President Trump does go uh, to meet with uh, President Putin before the elections, he needs to be careful of the optics. Yeah, I don't think he'll do it before, but we'll see. Gentlemen, thank you both for your expertise. Thank I you. wish we had more time. We'll bring it back real